back. Uh, today's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be one of my build videos. So, as you can see, I have a lot of rubber bands out. I'm going to be upgrading the tension on the roll linkage. Um, I also have my parking brake. You can kind of see it. I'm going to be doing a little explanation on that, and as well as the whiskey compass. As you can see, I have the uh, glare shield moved back so I can access the roll linkage area, uh, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. But what I did was I basically just bought an assorted bag with a whole bunch of rubber bands. Uh, went through them all. I was using these guys previously. They're uh, same from the same bag. Uh, they're just a tiny bit bigger. So I'm going with these slightly smaller rubber bands. I'm going to try and add some more. Uh, and just overall, I just want a little bit more tension on the roll linkage because it's not great. The pitch is great, but the roll linkage, I just want a little bit more tension. So we're going to try that, see if that works. Hopefully it uh, improves it a bit. And then uh, also walk you guys through my whiskey compass and parking brake. So if you guys have any other questions on stuff you want to see in the sim, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, and then also consider subscribing and leave a like. I want to reach 100 subscribers before the end of the year. That's my goal anyways. And uh, it's all made possible by you guys. So hopefully you enjoy this video and let's get started building. Alrighty everybody, so I've now switched the camera around and I'm sitting in the cockpit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm doing. So right here I have the glare shield just popped open. You can actually see the whiskey compass right here. It's just sitting there. Um, everything's turned on because I was testing a bunch of stuff. Uh, I was upgrading the software as well uh, on the Arduino Leonardo that runs all the electronics. Uh, I was adding in a, a buffer because I had issues with a lot of stirring and uh, jumps with the inputs, which didn't bother the actual flight, flying itself, but uh, it caused some weird sound stuff because I'd keep hearing a ton of clicks. Just the pet peeve, it was a little bit annoying, so I went ahead and fixed that. I'm actually going to walk through the code also probably later in this video as well. So anyway, what we're doing here is you can see I already moved the rubber bands from this rolling linkage. Basically, the screw here is moved up about half a centimeter or so, and it can connect on the either end. There's another screw sticking out. You can see it a little bit better maybe down there. Uh, this one's different. I have it actually sticking up. Never mind. Um, anyway, it can connect around that. And you can actually see right here how it's, that works. So that as I move, you can see it stretches it and pulls it. It's not great because uh, it's not pulling the rubber bands enough. So I'm going to try a couple different things. I'm going to add more rubber bands. I'm also going to try and put this up a little bit. So... Uh, it'll basically be traveling more distance because uh, as it rotates, it's only going to be going on this circumference, where if I have it up a little bit more, it's going to have a lot more travel, which will hopefully as well increase the uh, actual tension. So uh, that's my plan, and hopefully it works. So I'll get back and I'll show you guys some more in a minute. All right, so I'm going to show you kind of my subassembly, what I'm doing here. So here's what I just pulled out. Um, this was on the right-hand side, if you saw that before. Uh, I just pulled these out. And what I'm going to do is I ran out of washers, uh, but I have this nut that's like a great size. So the nut will basically go on the top like that. That'll keep everything from falling out. And then the rubber bands will basically, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, they'll basically interlace. Okay, I'm going to just try and show. They'll kind of kind of interlace like that back and forth. Um, let's see, like that, and it'll kind of stack, um, let's see here, yeah. it'll kind of like stair step back and forth, and um, then this black nut here basically will go on the bottom, sandwich it all together, so then it'll have, this is six rubber bands I'm using, so I'll have three on each side, and if I go in the cockpit here, you can see I just installed one, so it's got the golden nut on the top. Uh, below it, you can't see it, there's the black washer, which I'm using as the spacer, and then the three rubber band sets, which are interlaced one on top of the other, and then they just link back on the same place as before. So it's actually less rubber bands, but already it's basically the exact same amount of tension, and it seems to be quite a bit better, which is very cool. So I'm going to quickly assemble this, and then I'll show you when it's done. All right, I'm just going to stop this midway through me assembling it. Uh, that's what I mean by the stair-stepping, where it's alternating back and forth, and then the black nut will go on the end, but of course I can't do that one-handed, so I'm going to attempt to put that on, and then I'll show you guys again. All right, so now i got the black nut on, and it's basically it sandwiches everything together, and then the top bit there is what gets screwed in, and basically how much I screwed in is how compressed those rubber bands are. So it works pretty well. 
I'm gonna go ahead and install this and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Hopefully it's a lot better, we'll see. All right, so I just got this sled installed uh, and I tested it. It's about the same as it was before. So the pressures are about the same. It can center itself, minus the headset, but uh, it can center itself, but it's still really not great. Uh, I even installed four springs on the chain and it's still kind of just, I mean, as I get to the far ends, that's the pressures I want. That's great. But these small f bits here, this is really where most of the control inputs are. There's like very little force. So I'm going to try adding a couple more rubber bands um, and we'll see how that works. Alright, so I just installed the next set of rubber bands, uh, and I'm sorry I keep having all these different updates, it's kind of hard to like work on it using a single hand and film at the same time, but it's a lot better. So, it's now got definitely got a lot more pressure, it was four extra rubber bands, two on each side. Um, it's So it is definitely better, it's not great, uh, but it's still stuff I can improve on, and the great thing about this design is, I mean, it's rubber bands, it's very easy to add new things in, so... Uh, we're going to call that good now for the rubber bands and roll linkage, and uh, I can actually talk a little bit about the parking brake now. Uh, let me actually grab some light so you guys can see. I just pulled a puck light off the ceiling. That works pretty well. So it's just 3D printed, and it is basically uh, it's a handle that then goes through a shaft, and then is just connected into the uh, actual switch there, which is then just super glued, up, or uh, hot glued rather, there. Um, and that's just to prevent it from swinging. It is also screwed, if I can show this, it's also screwed into the PVC pipe. So it definitely has enough linkages uh, and connection points. And it works very reliably, and it's just wired directly into my uh, Model 2120. So, let's see if I can hold the light and demonstrate this at the same time. So, it pops out. I don't have the turning piece, this is just because it's uh, loose, but it does pop in and out really well, and it's pretty good. So, very simple. I don't have it centered because my uh, knees would actually hit it a lot, so I just put it off to the side, and I think it looks a little bit better, and it's a little bit more comfortable. So, and then I'm going to start reassembling things, and then I'll show you guys whiskey campus. Alright, so I just got everything reassembled. It was pretty quick to do. I'm going to try and get light. Okay, well, doesn't work great. Um, it is, the panel just merely flips back forward. It's still very loose, as you can see. It's not actually fixed anything, it's merely just resting on the panel. Uh, and the whiskey compass, actually, I'll show you that in a moment, but the reason it has this big base is I'm going to put holes through it, and it's actually going to be the piece securing this entire thing to a, uh, there's uh, another link, or another support underneath, which I can use to uh, fully strap down this uh, panel, now, the glare shield, rather. Uh, it's, it's super fine, and I don't need it to be super locked down right now, but it's fine, because my main support piece is right here, which is where I'll put stuff. That's pretty sturdy, so, I mean, it still moves, but it's marginally sturdy. <laughs> and then, here's the whiskey compass, so, you can see, oh, I've been running my computer on battery saver, I'll get, take care of that in a minute. Um, wires just run out of the back. This is offset a bit with electrical tape, just because the whiskey compass wasn't quite long enough, I didn't really want to print the whole thing. And in the inside, you can kind of see it has a backlight. It's very dim. It's hard to show you guys. There we go. Now it focus. So it's got a backlight. And then there's also a uh, plastic cover here, which I used actually super glue to weather it. And it looked really good. So uh, it's using just a stepper motor. And uh, it's super accurate and works really, really well. It's quite nice. So that'll about wrap it up for this video. Uh, parking brake, whiskey compass, and roll linkage is all updated. Um, I was going to show you software information, uh, I decided not to, um, I'm going to do that in a separate video because it's really kind of a complex subject and requires a lot more explanation. So, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next video.